everybody. It is lovely. Um, hopefully this may be uh, to do my September slash October haul and plans and sewing plans for the, for the month and a half. Um, uh, uh, thank you so much for all my new subscribers, new watchers. Um, and then also thank you for some of the people that have been with me before when I was doing more hair and fashion um, and organization videos. I am going to still be doing videos like that so you can stay watching too if you're interested in quit rambling and I'm going to start because I have a lot of stuff to cover. I had it all on the floor in front of me so I'm probably going to be bending down a lot. Um, let's start with the first, um, actually I need one more thing that I didn't get. Oh, first thing. I um, am doing a photo shoot and it, the theme is um, kind of more queen, uh, sea queen. It's not, I know that's kind of pretty much mermaid and people are like, oh, it's mermaid. And it's not really technically um, mermaid, I guess. It's not, it's not, I guess your normal mermaid theme because with the tail and everybody does, does that. I'm actually just gonna do a dress kind of draped in the mermaid, or in the mermaid style and then a crown. So I am doing this shoot, I was supposed to do it this coming Saturday. Kind of thank God the model was like, is there any way we can do it another day? So I'm gonna probably schedule that for next Saturday. Um, so I still need to work on the project, but I don't have to rush this week and get it done. Um, so the, um, so that's good. But um, I also wanna kind of make the dress so um, I might, cause I'm thinking I might wear it for Halloween, be mermaid for Halloween. So I'm like, so I'm making it in my size, and then I just, a lot of times I've made uh, things for photo shoots, I just clamp it in the back with these, these clamps that I don't have anywhere near me right now, but I clamp it in the back where I um, pin it in the back. So I'm making it in my size just in case, because I'm thinking I might wear it for Halloween. I don't know, we'll see. So I'm getting the pattern out of this book called um, So Many Dresses, So Little Time, The Ultimate Dressmaking Guide. And it's by, I think it's Tanya, Tanya, Tanya Wilden, Whelan, Whelan, excuse me, can't talk, can't read. So it is a fabulous book, by the way. If you have not picked up this book, go ahead and do it, because literally it, you know, this time make on page 73, there's a strapless bodice, so, and I'll, if this is not clear, I'll also post some pictures, but, um, strapless bodice. Um, so yeah, I'm going to make that strapless bodice piece. And then I'm going to make, because uh, it comes, what, how this book is set up is that you pick the, the bodice, you pick the sleeves, you pick the collar, and then you pick the, um, the actual skirt part. Obviously I don't need sleeves or collar with the strapless bodice, but I do need a skirt. And I'm going to make it like this, and it's called the bias skirt. It's on page 150 of the book. Uh, hopefully I can see that. If it's blurry, like I said, I'll insert a picture. Um, so that's what I'm going to make. I might make the skirt part a little bit longer. And what I'm going to make it out of is, um, I was going to do like a burlap thing, but I was like, no, 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 that's just kind of not nah, like So I'm going to make it in two different satins. Um, and they're one slightly lighter than the other, one slightly darker. So I'm probably going to put um, the bodice in the lighter color and then the skirt in the darker color. Hopefully you can see that part. You can see. Focus in on that. But, yeah. So, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to probably make um, a kind of skirt, overlay skirt that I can actually just put on over this skirt with uh, some of the burlap because I may do something funky with the burlap and then put on um, some tool as well to kind of make it a funky kind of thing. So that's what I plan to do with that. Um, yeah, and so I got that. Right. The other thing, oh, let me see if I can get this. I should have got this out first. I already made the crown. Hopefully you'll be able to see this. If I, if not, I'll, I will insert some pictures. But um, I already made the mermaid crown. So you can see that these little 
kind of diamond things actually hang down, but since it's on this head like this, it's kind of sitting back a little bit further than it would normally. Um, so this is what I made for that shoot. So yeah, it came out pretty good. I like it. So yeah. So anyway, so that's going to be my first make. Obviously, I have to finish it up by next weekend. So that's when the shoot is. Um, but like I said, if you have not picked up that book yet, I think it's a good book. Um, now, it kind of just, a lot of things simplify as soon as I start reading I'm like, oh, no duh, it's a skirt, it's a bodice, and it's a skirt. And I know I knew that, like, but it just kind of made it, enforced it. It kind of was like, oh, duh, you know, of course. Um, and I was putting the prices on these. Let me see. The lighter satin I have, the darker one I bought, but I didn't put a price on that one. But I did get it in the... Um, fabric district, district in forward. Uh, let's see. Actually, I do have a price on that. The that price was for that satin, the light satin. Like I said, I had it already in my stash. The dark satin, I got it for four dollars a yard, and I got three yards. So yes, I did have a price because I meant to. I knew I. Had, Thought I had wrote down the prices, but you know. So the next thing is going to be this pattern from uh, Project Runway, Simplicity Project Runway. It's pattern uh, 1006. Um, yeah, 1006. It is this one. I've had this one for, I don't know, I guess a couple months. Now, hopefully, that zooms in on that. If not, like I said, I'll insert a picture. Um, love this dress, and I'm like, um, so, I, yeah, so, love this dress, and, um, I picked up this, um, this fabric, and where did I pick it up? I picked it up at, um, for you Dallas people, <clears throat> at Fabricotopia is the name of it, it's on Perth in the Fabric District. And I picked this one up for five, oh, two ninety nine, two dollars and ninety nine cents, five yards. So essentially fourteen dollars and ninety five cents. And I'm gonna wear this to the Phantom of the Opera that I'm going to in kind of the end of October. I think it's October like twentieth or somewhere in there. So literally fourteen ninety five. And I don't even think I need I need an invisible zipper and, and thread. So and I might even have the thread. I might even have thread to match it already. So I would just need a, what four dollars zipper at most. So fourteen ninety five plus four dollars, eighteen ninety five for a really custom made, beautiful dress. And that's another thing I like. A lot of people are like, I don't know um, about sewing. Is like, well, it's so expensive. It's expensive, I guess, to get started if you're talking about the machine and all the kind of like little things you need to get started. But you really need to start figuring out what your price per garment is. And this one is literally going to be eighteen dollars for something like this, which if you pick this up in a store, unless it was like a really cheap store, it's gonna be pricey. So just keep that in mind. And uh, yeah. That the next thing I'm going to make is well I don't know if it's the next thing, but we'll see. I'm gonna make a wrap dress, and this wrap dress is gonna be from the uh, sew over it. Um, and I'm gonna do something different that may not even work. And but if it doesn't work, it doesn't matter because the fabric I'm gonna use was already in my stash, and I was really using it for a backdrop for photography. So because um, sometimes I will do that, I'll just get fabric, throw it on as a backdrop or something like that, and that's it. So it's free. So if it doesn't work, and I already have a pattern, and I wanted to test it out, but I need. For that pattern, it does require a knit or a stretch. And I have this stretch velvet, or it's not even, I know it's not real velvet, it's like velour or whatever the fake one is. So, but it is gorgeous. And I was like, I was looking at, what can I make that dress out of? What can I make that dress out of? And I wasn't gonna make it out of this basic kind of knit. And I still make it, may make it out of this basic knit, but I was like, this is good. I, velvet is gonna be big this year and uh, I just love anything velvet or velour or whatever you want to call it. 
and this has the stretch so I was like I'm gonna try it so I don't know if this is gonna work or not um, but I'm gonna try it I'm gonna try it so that's that um, and this I don't know how much this fabric was I don't know where I got it because like I said it was in my stash and it's been in my stash for a while so moving right along the other thing I'm gonna make is out of this beautiful fabric um, it is um, it's got some orange and blue and some teal in here as well. Um, I got this on a trip to Perth through a fabric district in Dallas um, I guess a few weeks ago. And then I laid the ultimate trousers on it. Obviously, that's what I want to make on it. And I was like, eh, not quite enough. Um, I don't know what it is with ultimate trousers. I cannot seem to buy the fabric. I don't know what it is. So um, I did end up going back for just because I was going back and I found I saw the fabric and I was like, I'm gonna get some more fabric. Um, so I got some more. Um, so I got two cuts of this um, fabric and I'm gonna make some ultimate trousers. But I also got, um, and this fabric was $10 a yard the second time I went. The first time I went, I feel like it was a little cheaper because the guy's like, it's all like remnant, not remnant fabric, I mean, it's still on the bolt, but he gets the second, second so, this was a designer's fabric that they stopped doing that, that line or the collection, and so they and then they sell it. So, which is most of the fabric that you find over there. Um, so I feel like he gave me a better bargain last time, but who knows? So, but still, this time around, I don't remember what it was last time, but this time around it was. So I got two yards of the of the fabric um, for twenty bucks for some ultimate trousers. Um, I will have to get a zipper. So okay, we're adding another. $3.99 or $2.99, whatever the zipper is, um, and a button, which I probably have a button around here, or it's like a couple dollars. So I'll have $25 and get a very nice pair of slacks. And he even said, he was like, the designer, he knew the designer of this, uh, whatever she made out of this fabric, and it was like super expensive fabric and a super simple, expensive garment that she made out of it or made it into. Um, so I wanted, I'm thinking about making ultimate trousers, but I'm also tempted, if I have enough fabric left over, I'm also tempted to make a peplum top. Like just a simple bodice block uh, with some nice darting and then a pep, and then the peplum. Um, and it wouldn't be a big peplum, just a, like a little peplum to accentuate. And I may do, um, in the front, I may actually leave the peplum a little open and kind of have a V out of the peplum and then just square off those quarters. Don't know it, but that's what I'm thinking, and I don't even have a pattern yet. So, but we are gonna do the ultimate trousers, and then we'll worry about the peplum top later. And I may do that in another month because I have lunch. So, all right, moving right along. This is a project I've been wanting to do for a while, and that is I kind of am a sucker for a big robe in um, or house coat. I guess a lot of people call it, but I call them you know a robe. And so, um, but I want it like the old retro styles. I don't want, um, but I have robes that are like kind of like cute, short, like things, but I wanted one that was like the retro, like retro, like I could cinch up the waist and still look kind of cute and kind of a little sexy too. Um, so I got this pattern a while ago and I'll probably do version B, which is um, the long sleeve. It has this kind of lacing detail, but I actually really don't want to do the lacing detail. So I may do the plain detail, but I'm not going to do the ruffle. So it may just be um, kind of a piece that's different because it'll have this um, the gathers here, but it'll be kind of a solid piece there. And then it'll have the long sleeves, it'll have the cuffs, not too tight, um, but I will put the cuffs in. I love this, this sash belt, um, and the length is what I really want to get out of this. I'm six foot tall because there's never been a day in my life that I've had, I've had a room that fit me to the floor like this, or anything fit me to the floor like this, unless I make it. And I'm gonna make it. Um, it's kind of like, honestly, I could wear it, like if somebody comes over at the, to the house and I just wanna lounge around, I could just cinch it on. And I don't look as sloppy as like some sweatpants, which I don't even wear sweatpants, like, you know, some shorts or something that I have to put on. Because um, I love it, you know. Anyway, and it needed quite a bit of yardage. I think it was like five, five or six yards. Um, I got this um, the last time I went to the fabric district in Dallas. I unfortunately don't think I know, look at my little book here, I don't know the price of it. 
I have a pattern of a book, sewing book as well. And if you guys want me to go through kind of what I have in here at some point, it's kind of just a project book that tells me like projects and different things. And I kind of keep track of the cost and stuff like that. Because I'm a big believer in, I'm not looking at you where I'm saying this because I'm looking at this book, but I, I'm a believer in, yes, I want good stuff and I want custom stuff, but I also want it at a, at a good price. So, okay, this fabric, I have five yards, and it was $3.99 a yard. Literally, this is gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous fabric. Um, so that's five yards of that. So hopefully I can eke out this whole pattern. And then B. Hopefully I, because, yeah, it said four and a half um, for my size. So I got five. So hopefully everything fits and everything's fine to do that. Um, yeah, because I really, I really want it long, so. Anyway, so that's my next make. The, to kind of go with this, but also well, wear separately, is I want to make, um, a cute little kind of, um, sleep, um, camisole kind of set. So this is kind of just like sleepwear. But I have two or three of these that I've made out that I've bought. And what happens is, I like short things, I like long things, but I also like short things. But it's at this, I'm six foot tall, and it's kind of like this weird length. It's like, it's not long enough to be like comfortable, but it's not short enough to be comfortable. It's such a weird thing. So it usually is like kind of what she has on. It's maybe that length, maybe a little shorter sometimes. And it's just an, it's cute when I'm walking around the house, you know, but it's annoying to sleep in. So I'm going to actually make it a little bit longer. I don't want to make it grandmother length. And that's not necessarily, because I do like long nightgowns too, but um, not knocking grandmothers <laughs> or young people. But I don't want to make it too kind of too long where it looks kind of like, oh, what do you have on? But I, So I want it to still be cute and sexy, but I want it a little bit longer. Does that make any sense? And I got um, this material. I should have had this together before I started this video, but sorry. I wasn't expecting that to go through here. I got this material again um, on sale. Is this was $1.99 a yard and I got it at um at um the fat in the fabric area in Dallas. Um the only problem with this is I I'm gonna have to figure it out because I didn't realize that there was a scratch all the way down the length of it. I, when I figured it out earlier, I think I still have enough to do it, but um, I'll have to check that. I may still even make it, even if it is a scratch down the middle of it, because one, I still got to use the fabric some, somehow, and two, it's still, it is just a sleep outfit, so I don't know. Why it's not the best, it's, I may just be very conscious of where I put it. Maybe I put it in the back or something like that, so we'll see. All right, so that's that. We're almost there, people. We're almost there. Yeah, we are there. So two things, two last things. Um, and this, I so I'm really wanting uh, for a few years now. I wanted a really good fitting chambray shirt. And when you're six foot tall, they don't make a lot of chambray shirts, and they make them very average size um and so they don't ever i could never ever found a chambray shirt that fit me in the wrist and if it does fit me in the wrist it's like too oversized so i want a big i want it kind of roomy but i don't want it like swallowing me so um so i i'm like i've been on this search for a chambray shirt and i found this one by new look and it's version C. It's what she's wearing. It's this this version or this version, which are one you want to look at. I don't know where that's going to focus at, but if it doesn't focus, I'll insert a picture. So um, it does have the tie belt, but I'm not necessarily even. I don't even think I'll put that tie belt on there because um, I want to wear it as a shirt, and I may shorten it. I know it's crazy. I may shorten it because this I think is really. They're calling this a dress. Are they calling it a dress? They're not even calling it anything. 
it's really a tunic. It's they're wearing it, she's wearing it kind of as a dress here, but I want to wear it as a shirt. So I'll have to see still lengthwise. I may just keep it that length because it may be, even though it's a dress, it may be still a good size, good length. Um, but I think it's it's very classic. I'm not gonna put the, the pocket on it. I'm just gonna leave it plain. I think it's very classic chambray shirt. Um, and um, so I'm gonna make that. So I found this, I found this stretch chambray at um, a store in Dallas again. Um, you see the theme here, the store in Dallas, the store in Dallas, um, in the fabric district. And I don't know why I was actually looking for stretch chambray because chambray, it doesn't require a stretch. But then when I started looking at them, and I was like, oh, I really liked this stretch or this chambray color. And there's kind of like a, a nice little, kind of almost like a sheen, not really, but kind of a, kind of a, a sheen look. And, and um, so I liked it. It doesn't really need the stretch but for the top, but um, I think it's very pretty. It's got a very nice kind of sheen. It's almost got like a little purple tinge to it. So it's really great. Um, so I'm going to use that. I may, and I got enough to do this if I want to. So that actually takes like, uh, two yards or something like that. And I got, hold on, I wrote it on here. I've been trying to get myself to actually label the price and where I got um, the fabric, so I did actually label this one. This was $7.99 a yard. Um, and actually, there was one of these, I can't remember which fabric it was, they actually gave me another, an, a yard extra, so one of these somewhere, I got an extra yard that I didn't have to pay for. It might have been this one. Um, no, it wasn't this one, but um, I did get an extra yard out of one of these. So, um, this is a stretch chambray. I got three yards and I got, it's $7.99. So, no, I'm not gonna be able to do that. Yeah, I could. Mm, no, I won't be able to. But I, what I was thinking is with the yardage left, I was gonna make some leggings, but I don't think I'm gonna be able to eke out enough yardage out of it. So, oh well, that's fine. Um, I will. I do want to make some leggings too. So if I can't get it out of this, I may have some fabric somewhere in here that I can make it out of, or I'll just go shopping. This is a kind of a. If I get to it, if I can throw it in in between something, I'll get to some leggings. Um, but it's not a have to. And um, yeah, I've made leggings out of this fabric before, um, and it they turned out okay. Um, yeah, I, I need to pull them out and see where they are because they're like a burgundy color, and they what the reason I never. I didn't wear them that much was because they were kind of felt hard to match except for yeah no but I could have wore black so I don't know why I didn't wear them so um, I'm actually thinking about doing a video um, pulling all the kind of things that I've made um, in my sewing kind of career if you will um, pulling all that together and kind of doing a show and tell of um, all the makes I've ever made because I've kept pretty much I think almost every piece that I've made. I've made swimsuits, I've made tops, I've made pants, I've made dresses, I've made, I've made a lot of stuff in, in my kind of time sewing. I have to go through my closet because there's some things that I still wear. I also have another closet in my guest bedroom that has some, um, some stuff in there that I've um, just kind of pulled aside either because they don't fit me anymore or because I just don't like the style or stuff, stuff like that. I also have things that my mom has made me. She's made me a lot of things too. I probably could not even find all the stuff that she's made me because there's stuff that, I mean, I have bedding, I have clothes, I have all this stuff. So I don't know if that's of interest to anybody to see like what I've made prior to kind of this time getting back into sewing or um, what my mom's made me. Some of the things um, she's made me before have not actually been 100% my style. She likes making stuff for me because I am the kid out of all her kids that will wear pretty much most of the stuff she makes. Um, there are a few things that I was like, I don't know what you're thinking on that one lady. <laughs> um, and then in like recent years, um, some of the stuff she's made, she's just kind of, she gets, she, well, we all do as sewers, sewers, I think we kind of just throw something together we kind of just feel like kind of get frustrated with fabric or frustrated with something and so we'll just throw it together right quick and it's not quite like we would normally sew so if that's of interest to you of me kind of pulling all that stuff together let me know in the comments section let me know um, you want to see 
kind of my previous makes um, that I've ever kind of made up until this point. Um, I would have to probably go through it quickly. I think, I mean, I have quite a few. Um, I mean, obviously things I've made for other people, which have been a few, I could, you know, kind of do, but things that I actually still have, um, I think I have a lot of them. I don't have all, but I have a lot of stuff that I've made. Um, and I think I have everything my mom's ever made for me as an adult anyway. And this is not counting like, the childhood clothes or whatever, which is a lot too. So just let me know if that's of interest to you. Um, so anyway, so that is my September slash October makes, um, or my September slash October plans. So um, I don't know how I'll come back. I don't know if I'm gonna come back like all at the end of the month and show you all of them at the same time or throughout the, the next few weeks. Um, so just let me know if you prefer one way or the other. I've seen some people do these videos and they do it all at the end of the month. And then I've seen some people kind of trickle it throughout. I kind of like the trickling throughout because I get excited. I'm like, I just made a project. I'm like, get excited, have all these details about it. And then if I go on to like five different projects, by the time I come back and tell you about that one, I may be kind of like, okay, yeah, this is, you know, and I just don't think, I'll, I think I'll lose the enthusiasm to tell you exactly how I felt about the pattern and the fabric, how it was to work with and different things like that. So I think I'm gonna kind of trickle it throughout. I'm a group, I may do like the first half of the month I made these three and the last half I did, you know, I may make like two videos or something like that, but I think that's what I'm leaning to. Um, last month, um, which is probably just, just recently came out, uh, actually got uploaded, it was um, kind of trickled, she was designed to be trickled throughout but it also kind of got clumped into things like the Agnes top and um, the rat or the cow neck dress and things like that. So, um, so anyway, that's the video for my September October mix. Um, the only thing I did not share was some kind of project stuff, um, and I'll probably just make another video with that. So this one's not super long. So, anyway, it has been lovely. Thank you.